Hello guys, quick intro before we actually get into the tips. Uh, the video will have tips and tricks for beginners, but there's also some hidden things you just might not know about the game, even if you play the game a lot. Uh, some hidden tricks, also some uh, tips that uh, can solve some oh, bugs in the game. Uh, and just overall stuff you might maybe not know about the video. Ooh, if it's shot. helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel um, and hitting the like button. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, drop them in the comments. Uh, there's a chance I will see them and answer them as well. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tip number one, always carry multiple types of uh, ammunition with you. In case you run out of one type of ammunition, you can just switch to the next one. And you uh, gotta adapt to maybe what di different type of ammunition you're using because they're different. Uh, but this way you barely run out of ammo. Also with this is for the people who use alternate um, for controller this is specifically if you have uh, knifing on circle and crouching on R3 I don't know exactly what buttons they are on Xbox it is a little bit buggy to switch you get this glitch what you have to do to switch ammo type then is you have to go to this menu and then you have to hold circle or uh, whatever your knife button is on Xbox. Tip number two, always make sure you have a silencer as backup. In case you're on the flank, you can quickly switch to your silencer and you're good to go. You will not appear on the minimap when using a silencer. Um, just take note that the silencer reduces fire damage by quite a bit, especially up range. So if you're not on the flank, do not use the silencer. And if you're on the flank, quickly equip the silencer. Tip number three, it helps to go crouch in the middle of a gunfight. It actually helps you control the recoil and it will make you a harder target. So if you struggle to control the recoil sometimes, try this. It can actually help you win a lot more gunfights than you usually would. Tip number four, what works even better than crouching is going prone to get a kill. If you find a player, Go prone. Watch out if you know there's a player running at you. Do not go prone mid gunfights because there's an animation during which you cannot go, uh, which you cannot shoot back. So it only works if you're already prone or from an enemy of longer distance. It helps you increase your recoil control by quite a bit instead of what it usually normally uh, would be if you're standing up. Tip number five. Pre-aim will increase your chances of winning gunfights, so if you know there's a player there, pre-aim, so you have the advantage. What's even better is if you pre-aim even higher, this is a little bit risky, but if you pre-aim and you try to get a headshot. So do not pre-aim on the ground, this is how you not pre-aim, but pre-aim where you think the body is going to be. If you, may, if you might know there's going to be a player prone in the distance, make sure you pre-aim where the player might be going prone. Um, if you want to go for the risk, go for headshots, it can work, um, but if you're not sure if you're going to get a headshot, just pre-aim where his body is going to be. It will increase your chances of winning gunfights by quite a bit. Tip number six, if you want to, here is where you can turn off crossplay. I've seen a lot of people wondering where this option is. If you go to the options, it's literally one of the first rows you'll find it. Here you can turn off crossplay if you do not like playing against PC players if you're on console or if you're on PC and you don't like playing on uh, against console players. This is where you can turn this off. If you struggle how to learn to fly or any of that specialist, you can play solo co-op mode, uh, change the, you can play conquest or breakthrough, change whatever map or how hard you want to have the bots to be set. Um, at this place you can learn how to fly, uh, maybe use a, spe a specialist or a gun. You can warm up your aim here because we're playing against AI only. Uh, so it's a good way to warm up your aim before you actually jump into multiplayer. When you're flying a helicopter, use a third person view to look around. But if you actually want to have good control over your helicopter, switch to first person view. You'll notice that you have a lot more control over your flying, especially if you go in tight situations like these, it's better to have first person on. This will allow you to move more controlled. If you know there's going to be enemies somewhere around a corner, never run around corner. 
This will make it so your gun takes longer to be ready to shoot. If you notice going to be enemies, walk around corners. You'll be faster ready to shoot players instead of running around corners. Pre-aiming is always even better, but never really run around corners if you know there's going to be enemies there. When you have high ground over an enemy, use the high ground as a head glitch. What I mean with this is if you peek a player, like this player for example, don't stand like this, but stand a little bit back and use it as a head glitch. This will make it a lot harder for the enemy uh, player to actually hit you. Never stand like this. Take a little stack backwards and do it like this. You have a bigger advantage. Most of the time you can see their entire body when they can only see the top of your body. Snipers like the SWS-10 and the DXR have a sweet spot mechanic, which means if you're up close within a range of 15 meters, the player you'll be shooting will actually be a one-shot kill, even if he's at full HP. Above 50 meters, you have to get headshots in order to get the one-shot kill on full health players. When you're moving, always take notice of what ground you're moving on. This is because different ground will make different noise. You'll be less loud running on the floor than you'll be running on these type of crates. The audio in Battlefield 2042 could be better, but you can take notes of that. These ladders right there, they are very loud for example, and the climbing ladders on manifest are actually very loud as well. So if you're trying to flank enemies, keep this in mind. Also using a grappling hook actually makes quite a bit of noise. Audio in Battlefield 2042 can be quite inconsistent, so this doesn't always uh, work, but keep this in the back of your mind when you're moving around on the map. If you're using as an attachment the laser sight for the assault rifle, SMGs, whatever gun you're using, make sure you also equip it. You can actually, when you spawn in, you have this not equipped. When you equip it, you can see a pretty clear laser sight. You have to press down on the D-pad for controller to equip the laser sight. It's the same button you would use to equip a grenade launcher on the SCAR for example, or if you have that as a under barrel. So make sure every time you spawn in, you click down on the D-pad, you can see the difference in my crosshair, and you can see the laser sight pretty quick, cl clearly. You have to do this every single life you spawn in. A little movement tip on how to jump further. If you're trying to jump across to maybe outplay an enemy. If you jump normally, you get this far. But if you slide right before you jump again, so you jump, you go into a slide, which is the crouch button on PlayStation, and then you jump again, you actually jump much further and you slide a little bit afterwards. I can hopefully demonstrate it in one go here. So I will jump, I will go from the jump into a slide and actually pretty much jump again right away. You can see it right there, I was sliding while standing. I didn't time it correctly, but you should normally jump a lot further. Right there. If you're going to your options, then you go to display, HUD general. You here have the kill lock, which by some games is called the kill feed. If you have this option, change it to nearby. At the moment, this function actually doesn't properly work, but hopefully when DICE fix it, the nearby feature will work. Nearby pretty much means that all kills uh, uh, taken from enemies and teammates will show up in the kill feed. Which means if you see somebody get a kill from the enemy side to your teammate, you know there's someone close. You can also set this to all team, squad, self. Nearby is the preferred one. Unfortunately, at the moment, uh, it doesn't work. But once they fix this, this is definitely the go-to uh, kill feed you want to show as there's 128 players on next gen NPC so you want to know what's going on closely. The next tip is you can change your minimap size which can help you create a little bit more awareness. Right now if you check my minimap you can see that I can see quite a bit around me. If I change this to a lower number like for example 90 you can see there's a lot less I can see around me on the minimap. You can see it more detailed, so find the sweet spot. For me, this is 90. By default, this is on 50, which I think is too low um, for anyone. I would at least go up to at least 70. Maybe you're gonna like 100 plus uh, on this setting, but at least put it higher than the default setting. You'll create a lot more awareness around you as the minimap is 
pretty important on this game as you're spotted instantly when you shoot.